Hey everyone, so welcome back again to another episode of Japan Business Time with Rochelle Karp and Hiko Simon. And uh, today's topic is from、uh, Phoenix787. He had a question、uh, about how to get Japanese engaged in discussion, how to get them talking. They're all quiet and they let, you know,、uh, from an environment where, an American cultural environment where everyone's talking and the Japanese don't talk and people get aggravated by this.、Uh, how, how do we get them talking? Is the question. So let's talk about that as this topic. So, Rochelle, as a business, as an intercultural、right. business consultant, this is, this is an issue which must come up like, in almost、oh. every single case. It comes up all the time, yes. And so, what is, what, and it's a constant thing. People want to say, well, they're all sitting there making faces and being quiet. The, the, the Westerners are dominating the discussions. How do we get the Japanese as engaged, you know, involved in the discussions so that everyone is talking in these right, things? Right, right. Well, I think a really big thing for the Westerners who are talking a lot. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, just shut, <laughs> shut up. Shut the hell up. You always have to be talking. <laughs> right, because from a Japanese perspective, it's impossible to get a word in edgewise. In a typical Japanese conversation or a meeting or something like that, someone talks, they stop, and there's a silent space. Then the next person talks.、Yeah. Typical Western meeting, it's a wall of sound. People are talking over each other, there's no space. So for the Japanese, they don't know where they can get a word in edgewise. My dad had a tip which he. Told me about when he was coming into Asia and he picked up on this and, and the need to give people a gap,、uh, which Westerners intuitively get nervous from silence. Right, right? yes. They,、exactly. We have to feel very、it. uncomfortable. And even me, I've been here 16 years, I've only ever worked in Japan and I still react like that myself. My dad had a thing count to 10.、Uh, and、yeah. yeah, use your fingers if you have to. He would actually use his fingers by his side one, two, three, four. That's <laughs> cute. If you go 10 seconds, And there's nothing, then come again and check if they understand.、Yeah. But give them until 10 because sometimes they're going to take at least five to、right. put together their words. Right. So that is the, I, I get that. Definitely.、Right. Okay. So that's about, definitely a big thing. A, but there is a thing about like a group discussion. I mean, we're talking about a university tutorial class sort of situation. Right, right. But Japanese don't have that experience. I don't know about that. There is a perception, there is a stereotype of Japanese schools as being very. Passive and where the、right. teacher lectures and everyone, and this is the, 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 the bubble show up period, you know, stereotype.、Mm. And there's a, a funny thing, there's a lot of pushback against that perception. Now, I don't know if schools have changed, I don't know. but from what I understand, from kind of recent, there's been a bit of revisionism about this perception of Japanese schools where、mm-hmm. they are perceived as being more interactive now. But even and so, and it might have changed, but then if you're dealing with people over a certain age, they only ex- grew up in the schools that would be. Well, maybe that's, passive, yeah, so, so that's probably true. But I don't know, so. But, Again, but, but you're running a discussion. Right, you're right. running a discussion, and、okay. you're trying to have a group discussion. And there are Americans and Japanese, and the、right. Americans are dominating the discussion. Okay, Americans、um, first of all need to shut up. But you they need to. They need to what? But how do you manage that? How do you make them shut up? You're, 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 if you're managing like a group right, discussion, right? right. Well,、okay. What's your idea? So then, then if you're going to be like a facilitator, you can be. You know, we haven't heard very much from the Japanese. Why don't we have the non-Japanese、um, stop for a moment and let's give the floor to some of our Japanese colleagues, and you can sort of. Do that, right? So I've been, in the situ- I've been in the same situation, and the funny thing about that is okay, I want to hear from a Japanese person, and you can hear the, the, the shikadas chirping, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, no one's r i g h yeah. And the nervous looks into the corner of the room, and oh, I was just, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, the thing but, is, with a lot of this, thing, though, is you really have to set it up. I mean,、yeah. the one thing is,、True. if you have Americans who are just talking too much,、yeah. then you talk to them beforehand and say, look, Mm. You know, you got to say less so the Japanese can say more.、Yeah. But there's other issues too. Also, in a lot of cases, the Americans or, or who other, whether, whether Westerners are not only talking too much, they're talking too fast, they're using too much slang, they're very、yeah. hard to understand. Yeah. And so that's hard for people. I also see a lot of situations where it's other issues. Yeah. For example, if a senior person says, I think X, yeah, yeah, yeah. no Japanese is going to st- stand there and say, I think Y.、Yeah. So you've already shut them down. Yeah. And then you're expecting them to say something. You, if you're expecting them to disagree with someone senior、yeah. to them, they're probably not going to. No, that's a good point. Another thing I see that's very hard for Japanese、yeah. is a lot of times Americans leave creating their presentation materials until the last minute. Yeah. Oh, here's the materials. <laughs> yeah. You can't expect a Japanese person to get something in English and absorb it、yeah. and be ready to comment it on it in 30 seconds.、Mm. That's just not really a reasonable expectation. You know, even worse than that, I've been in an international business situation where 
that tendency, one of creating business mater- presentation materials at the last minute is one thing. And you're right. For Japanese people, always create the materials and send them like a day early. Right. Um, and that's expected. Um, so that, and, that is, and that and is very important. And only two days and three days would be better. Right. Absolutely. But the other thing, which, again, me, I'm a talker and I'm guilty of this as well. When you enter a discussion where you are not fully on top of that discussion, there is a tendency a lot of Westerners had. It's a, it's a very handy technique for, hand, for handling discussions that you are not fully up to speed with. Particularly, you imagine a tutorial where you didn't read the do you didn't do the reading, uh-huh. but someone says something that you could hook onto, and you think, well, I've got to speak up so I don't, to cover up the fact I didn't read, so I can talk about that. And people try to cover up the fact that they haven't done the background by trying to dominate and control the discussion themselves and steer it in a different direction. I've actually caught out more senior people in this sort of situation where that's not what the materials were talking about. So why are you saying that? And I, like on the fourth time, I got them, them to admit they didn't read it. I was like, okay, well, you need to be quiet now. We need to talk to the people who did the reading. Who were the Japanese people? Um, I've got two things on this. One thing, understand. You always have to understand. English speakers are so blind to the fact that to what it's like to speak English for, uh, as a foreign language speaker. A- and we can be particularly blind, or sometimes even worse, we're not blind, we're aware of, and we knowingly use the fact that the language that you have a discussion in immediately sets the power relationship, the power balance in the room. Yeah. Um, you, if I'm doing a negotiation in English, or J- when I'm in a call with, the, with Japanese people on my team, and, but, the, but the, the language of the negotiation is English, immediately I'm the star. I'm the star of the show. I can, I can, I can react to everything fast, or I can dominate. Sure. If the discussion's in Japanese, I'll, I'll talk on my bit. But of course, everyone is doing their thing. Right. Um, but yeah, we, the, way, the language for a start, you have to appreciate, puts, puts anyone on a back foot. Even someone like me, you know, and, I, and I'm fully business proficient in Japanese, but even me, there's no question. I, 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 I operate, I look 10 times cooler when we're in English. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they're already on the back foot. You have to take that into account. Right. And, as and someone, they're very conscious of that as well. Yes. yes. Yeah. And they don't want to look stupid coming up. And, and, they're, and they're worried that they're not understanding right. what, what these fast talkers are saying. And they don't want right. to show up that they don't know. And it. they don't want to say something that sounds dumb. And so, you can't blame anyone for feeling that way. Right? So when I get it to be a moderator or a, a kind of moderator, or when there's a discussion and it's just these guys talking, these guys are being quiet, but I need to find out what they think. Mm-hmm. Um, I do it in the Japanese way. I don't. I don't put them on the spot, or I will segue in a way that, uh, look, you know, Tanaka-san, I know you dealt with this issue last year. We had this experience, and you did the, what? So when we did that, can you just share with everyone what you mm-hmm. did? Right, that's nice. But yeah. what I do definitely is I call people out. I don't invite. Can someone oh. Japanese please talk? Because I know they react like New Zealanders, oh. and New Zealanders do the same thing as Japanese. They like, you know, they they hide. Oh. Um, but. And it's kind of in New Zealand, as in Japan, the most horrible thing you can do to someone is to put them on the spot and say, Tanaka-san, talk. But you got to do it because otherwise, in that situation, um, and, and that, that is also the way that you shut down them. Okay, right. I don't want Tony, I don't want, you know, right. Anne, I don't want Marie, I, I want, want Yamada-san. Yamada-san, tell us, you know. Um, sometimes you got to do it. And the fact is your whole brain works different. When you're talking, you are processing proactively the information that you know you can sit there and not get the whole meeting and walk out and be completely blank on what's happened for the last hour right, right. if you have to talk you immediately have to get your brain engaged into understanding it may, it may be safe that's true so what was that again so for me as well just for checking that everyone's even listening i make people talk which is mean i have a fascist streak about this but that's how I, that's how, how i deal with that i actually i guess i make westerners shut if we're doing it in english make them shut up be patient and i uh, and i try to in a fr- as friendly a way as possible get the mm-hmm. japanese in but you know, at the same time, don't come in with an understanding. If you're doing this in English, even with fluent people, even with people who are fluent in either language, even with me or right. Rochelle, the difference between doing these discussions in English or Japanese, there is They're a difference. Very different, yes. So yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, I understand the whole Western. Oh, Japanese are just they. Why are they sitting there being wallflowers and quiet? That's not. You have to understand the situation from their perspective, and, and right, you need right. to bring them in. So. Yes, I have very strong opinions about this. <laughs> uh, that's a good topic. So thank you okay. for that, Phoenix 787. Yes, thank you. And uh, come back, join us again next week for more of this stuff. We're going we're gonna to jam in some more episodes, as many as we can. we got more topics. So uh, peace.